Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. This is box template 76, and that's a free PDF over on my website. Okay, so we're gonna start out with stamping. We're gonna be using the Stamparatus today. So we're using Sweet Songbirds Bundle, Stamp Set and Punch. I'm gonna place my basic white cardstock here. This measures um, three and three eighths by two and three quarters. Starry Sky ink, brand new ink pad. One, two, three. Let's see how that looks. Let's do it one more time. Okay, that should work. Now we're gonna close this up and we're gonna stamp the greeting. Because we're using a photopolymer stamp set, I do want to use my Stampin' Mat. This stamp set has multiple greetings. This is another one that I considered but we're gonna use Welcome. It kind of fits perfectly on that box. Okay, so all of our stamping is done. Let's go ahead and cut the bird out using the punch. What is this, Songbird Builder Punch? And I can tell I need to trim off a little bit down here. If you find that your piece is not large enough to hold on to, you can add a post-it note to the end of it. That way it'll help. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the little wing here. And then we'll cut out the beak. So this is just one of my scrap pieces of cardstock and that's perfect. The only thing we have left to cut out is our greeting. So I'm gonna take my tiny trimmer. Um, we no longer sell this one, but um, let me know if you need the link to one that's comparable um, over on um, Amazon. It's not exact, but it's the same measurements. So it'll be good. It'll be perfect actually. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut that at an angle. So all of our images are ready. We're not gonna stamp the eyes today. We've already done that on a couple other projects. So this time we're using rhinestones for the eyes. So now for our box, <laughs> I'm gonna use the Simply Scored Scoring Tool. The piece that measures two and a quarter by six and a quarter, I'm gonna score that at two and three quarters and three and a half. So that's done. On the piece that measures three and a half by four, I'm gonna score it at three quarters on all four sides. I'm gonna use the bone folder and I'm gonna fold on the score lines and burnish with my bone folder. So the new catalog, the annual Stampin' Up! catalog, uh, launches on May 3rd. So if you're watching this before May 3rd, it's only a few more days. If you're watching it afterwards, yay, it's gone live. Okay, so I've cut to the score line on all four corners. And now what I wanna do is just trim these tabs and like I said, there will be a free PDF over on my website. It's right under the video box. So you don't have to go searching in all kinds of places. If you see the uh, YouTube video box, the link is right under there. The title will be Things to Print. So there'll be a free printable for the project that has pictures and then there'll also be a box template. I'm gonna use my Stampin' Seal Plus today 
to attach these corners. I'm using a silicone craft sheet because that just really helps when you're using this super strong adhesive. You can use tear and tape, you can use liquid glue, you can use any of any of our adhesives, they all work. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring the walls up. And before I assemble this, I wanna go ahead and show you what's gonna fit in here. Okay, so we have two of the little mini uh, Kit Kat bars, so that will fit in here perfectly. Two spools of Aurafil thread will fit in there perfectly. It does pop up just a smidge, but it'll be okay. The high chews, love these. Those, those will fit in there. And then you can fit, I think, five of the Rolos. Some of mine are missing. Um, and then also the Hershey Nuggets or these little Hershey uh, candies. So you have lots of choices now. This is gonna fit, it's gonna attach to the back and it's gonna attach to the bottom. Okay, so liquid glue on the bottom. And then whichever side looks not the best, which they both look the same. <laughs> okay, so you wanna center it as best you can on here and then bring that over. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold this for a second and let it dry. Uh, you could use tear and tape, but um, I would be afraid that you wouldn't stick it exactly where you want it. <laughs> and uh, then you would have it crooked, which mine may be crooked anyway, right? Okay, I'm just using my bone folder to help that. So now we're gonna take the designer series paper and that, add that on top. Sorry if you guys have heard the lawnmower. The hubs is mowing today. Okay, isn't this such a cute little box? I really wanna make sure that that sticks before I tie the ribbon. So I'm gonna hold on for just a second. Okay, that should be good. So I'm taking two ribbons. This is the metallic woven ribbon and then the baker's twine. So both of these are the starry sky color. I think the metallic one seems a little a little off on the colors, but when you add these together, it makes it perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and trim uh, that much. When I'm filming videos, sometimes I have to use just a little bit more ribbon than what I would normally use, just because I don't wanna mess up. Um, the other thing about this box is, if you want, whoever you're making this box for, if you wanna make sure they don't destroy the box when they open it, definitely leave the ribbon longer so that it can be tied and untied. Okay, I always say that I should stop talking when I'm tying a bow. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. So not, not too long, right? Just just a, just a little bit. Okay, there's that. So set that aside for a second. We're gonna take the take your pick tool and we're gonna add the eyes for the little bird. Well, I'm having a hard time picking it up. And I'm going to use, actually, let, I'm gonna continue using my take your pick tool. So I'm gonna pick up a glue dot and I'm going to wad it up as small as I can and put it on the beak and then attach it. And that raises it up just a little bit, but not too much. <laughs> and then we're gonna use a mini dimensional for the wing. 
Okay, I'm just checking to see which side I like better. I guess they're both about the same. Okay, so we're gonna add the um, circle to this and I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal Plus. And then I'm gonna add it to the top of the box with two dimensionals. So I'm gonna put one dimensional on the, above the ribbon and one dimensional below the ribbon. That way, whoever opens the box, they won't destroy it. We're gonna use a mini dimensional to attach the greeting. So make sure you leave enough room to add that. In fact, trim that a little bit more. And then now we're gonna add the little bird using a dimensional right in the middle. If you don't put the dimensional in the middle, you might have to use two. Okay, so there you have it. Pretty cute, right? Don't forget, if you like this video, to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to get notifications and head over to my website and print the free PDF and box template 76. Thanks so much. Have a great day.